Hello, uh, today I'm going to be doing the first of uh, two different tutorials on lasers. Um, there's two types of laser within this game. Uh, one is the standard laser and the other is uh, the, uh, what they call them, um, let me bring it up and I'll remember and it begins with a P. Uh, there it is, particle cannon. Um, now the standard laser is actually more complicated than the particle cannon by a long way. Uh, I'm going to do the laser first because, well, it's more complicated, that's why. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give myself a bit of a platform to work from. It doesn't have to be very much because I'm not planning on using this much. So I've given myself a single platform, it gets me over this level. So the next thing I'm going to put in is, um, from the laser section, some connectors. So connectors are always quite useful. And on top of this uh, barrel of uh, them connectors, I'm going to stick a uh, multi-purpose laser. There we go, multi-purpose laser on the top. Doesn't look like much of a laser, does it? Okay, so like advanced cannons, like CRAMs and so on, you get a block. And then you attach your stuff to it, like barrels, etc. Except with a multi-purpose laser, you choose laser combiner, optics, and steering optics. So you need a laser combiner first. You don't need the wavefront adjuster. You don't need the color. You can use them. Um, the laser wavefront adjuster, as it says here, is as good if you want to add it to increase um, penetration on your target. Um, so let's just stick the combiner on. So you can see it's already uh, connected and we've got an inaccuracy of 10 degrees. So I should be able to already fire this thing. So if I go like this, can't aim that direction. Okay. According to that, that's not working correctly yet. So that's fine, it doesn't matter. We haven't finished anyway. And let's have a look, we have no azimuth and on here it says we want a 1 AP 40 shots per second continuous damage no pulse damage no range 1 AP okay so you can see the two types of damage here continuous and pulsed um, continuous damage with AP is I'm trying to describe it in the best way I can is basically the laser doesn't go off, it's, it sort of flashes around all over the place depending on the range and the pulsed damage one is on off, on off, on off, on off like that, a bit like um, a bit like you get in binary if anyone has a clue what binary is so anyway what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick some optics is it optics? yes it's optics, optics on this on the end of this I'm going to stick uh, three and then I'm going to follow it up with three more steering optics Okay, so if I come in now and go to our combiner, we can see we've only, only got a 1 degree inaccuracy, which is down from our 10 degrees. Um, so basically, the more of these thin ones you get, the more accurate it will be. And the more of these you get, the more um, uh, azimuth and firing arc you're going to get. Um, you can make them really, really, really long. It's completely up to you if you want to stick this on a spinner or not. I found that putting it on a spinner doesn't really give it much extra apart from that you can spin it around and fire in multi multiple directions. Excuse me while I sip a beer. Anyway, um, so next. We've got our steering optics, we've got our optics. Okay, so let's try firing it. Let's just show you if it works. So now we know we've got 22 degrees of firing azimuth, we should be able to fire it in that direction. Now as you can see, nothing, absolutely nothing is happening. Okay, so now I can explain why. So as you can see we've got a zero continuous damage. That's why. We've got a zero range too. Well, like our good old friends in the CRAM department where you require an ammo box, or our good friends uh, the um, ammo thingy bobs on the advanced cannons, two seconds, what are they called? Uh, ammo clips on the advanced cannons. Um, lasers also have something similar to this. They call them cavities. So we've got cavities and couplers. 
Okay, so. What we need to do to start with is create a coupler. There's a coupler. Right. Now, it's got no key switches on it, so don't worry about that for the minute. It's got no cavities on it either. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a straight line of cavities. Now, once you've got your coupler, you can pretty much build them whichever direction you want off of your coupler. But remember, each cavity is its own unit. Um, I'll try and explain in a minute. So we've got two, four, six, six hundred storage capacity in each cavity here. And if we look at our laser source, we can see we still actually have no damage. That's fine because we're not finished. The reason why is because we need pumps and or frequency doublers. So I'm going to stick a couple of pumps on these. Uh, one on the top of each of these, like so. And now we should have some damage. We go three continuous damage. Not a lot of damage. 100 meter range, one armor piercing. Okay, not a lot. Alright, so you can see each one of these on one standard cavity gives you one damage, basically. Next, we have the frequency doubler and the laser destabilizer. So, this increases damage, but also increases the amount of uh, energy used. This uh, can be placed anywhere in the line of the laser cavity, increases the frequency of the laser, and therefore increases the armor piercing. So, if you want to increase your armor piercing, we stick the frequency doublers on. So, let's stick them on here, like so, on the... Does that work? No, that doesn't work. Oh, I see. It goes on the... Let me reread that. Frequency doubler connects to... Anywhere on the line of the laser cavity. Okay, so the laser cavity, the line. So, like that, on the end of it. There we go. So, by doing that, we've now increased our cavity, like so. Uh, we should effectively have added 3 AP. So, we've got 4 AP now. So, to give you an idea, that will go through nearly light alloy. Uh, light alloy has an armor rating of 5. Gives you a bit of an idea. Okay, so, what else can we do? Well, let's go back to here and let's get our destabilizer. It says, place in the cavity, the destabilizer will dramatically increase the energy usage. Okay, so let's look. So when we're doing this, you can see there's like little green thingies that show you where you can place it. So let's place one on the end here. On, on the end here. So we had a total um, amount of damage of uh, one, two, th three, wasn't it? So now with those e expanders, effectively, we're up to five. Dramatic, my ass. Okay, we're still four AP. So it really depends on what you want to do. I mean, if you want extra damage or if you want uh, more more armor piercing. Um, my suggestion, the suggested suggestion, is to have quite a high armor piercing level so that you can get to the core components inside a vehicle. So let's have a look at a single um, heavy armor block. Okay, assume someone has a heavy armor block. You need 40 armor piercing. That's effectively 40 laser frequency doublers. That's quite a lot. Okay. Right, well, as it's a single line, let's try something. We've got extra cavities. We've got the storage cavity and a single input cavity. So a single input cavity uses four times the energy of a regular ca cavity. So in other, in other words, what you would do is instead of having the cavity with stuff you can stick top, bottom and side, you literally just have the one. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete this one back. I'm going to place it on the end here. Okay, so we've got a storage capacity of 800 in there. And I'm going to stick a pump on the top. Okay. So now I've reduced that. So beforehand, where that was giving us um, effectively one damage, we're now getting up to seven continuous damage. So, sorry, eight continuous damage. Uh, because um, whether you knew this or not, your um, laser charges. Uh, let's see. I suppose you wouldn't have known because I haven't told you yet. 
<coughs> your laser has to charge so you know you get more uh, more damage per um, energy available so this laser is capable of using 1200 energy with 8 continuous damage and 3 AP alright so you could uh, technically use this with a few of these on the top to get load of damage you could also use this with a uh, ton of frequency doublers on the end but another one of my favourite little tricks here is the storage capacity this one here so if I stick this on the end here this gives us a massive 8000 storage so you can't stick stuff on it but let's have a look our total laser energy is going up and therefore our total continuous damage is going up and our range and it's charging quite nicely there so I'm going to give that a couple of minutes because we're only at 2,000 now, we're about 8,000 or 9,000 or so. So what other things have we got? We've got a transceiver. So what a transceiver does, I'll, I'll demo it, is uh, you place it here, you get yourself another one of these. This does not work on a spinner very well at all, so don't even bother trying on a spinner. Okay. So if I put that there, spin that round, hooray we've got a connection. Guess what that means? <laughs> that means you can build stuff as long as it's in the line of sight laser. Oh, I think it needs to be line of sight. You can build stuff attached to your original laser somewhere else. So let's do it. Let's grab one of these. One, two, three. And let's stick some uh, pumps on the top. One, two, three. Okay. Um, that won't work. Guess what? I forgot something. Three. Any ideas what I forgot? Points to the person who knows. No, okay, fine. Right, you need a coupler. Stick a coupler on. Then you can build it. Don't forget the couplers. Couplers are very important. So let's do that again. We'll go for the single input. One, two, three. I really did a bad job with the lighting on this. Um, pump. One, two, three. Okay, so suddenly we've got a little bit of extra energy here and we've got a ton more pumps. Well, let's see. So our, our damage is going up. Still only 3 AP. Alright, so let's, let's look at this from another angle now. If the laser is going to be um, firing pulse damage, which I believe is slightly better for um, armor piercing. What do you need? Okay, so we've already got continuous damage coming through this thing, and you may have seen under here we've got a Q switch. So let's stick a Q switch on our coupler. Uh, which way around? Doesn't really matter. So stick that on there. That's connected. Right. So suddenly we're on pulse damage. Wow, look at that amount of pulse damage. Okay, so suddenly the amount of energy used doesn't indicate the amount of damage. So the amount of damage for a continuous is what, 40, 50 ish? This is 1800. Suddenly the laser looks like it could be useful. Okay, so let's make it useful. Let's give us some. Um, where is it? Uh, cavities, frequency doublers. Yeah, frequency doublers. One, two, three. So we've got three on there. So that should be another three AP. So let's just check. So we're up to six AP now. Okay, so let's work on this. One, two, three. Pardon me. One, two, three. So that should be another six, yeah. So we should be a decent amount. Uh, there we go. So we're still on six. Oh, hang on a minute. Look at the top. Seven AP of continuous damage. Well, that's because we didn't put a Q switch on here. Because the Q switch relates to the coupler. The coupler provides information to here of how much to do. So now we've got a Q switch on here, we know it's going to be a, a pulse laser. So suddenly we've even increased the amount of damage that that pulse laser is going to do. Again, uh, we're fully charged at 2384 pulse damage with 12 AP. 
That's 12 AP. That's pretty cool, eh? Alright, so now you've seen it in this particular format, you can kind of figure out what you need to do and how to set it up to be able to do it as a, as a more powerful setup. Um, but as we've got 12 AP, uh, that means we can load up something with uh, metal armor, like this, because metal armor is 10 AP. And we can blast through it, especially with our pulse. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to load up, well first things first, I'm going to test it works. Yes, it works. We've got a green laser too. Uh, let's just see how much energy that used. Not all of it, good. So what I'm going to do over here, oh, before I do, let me just check. It's got a range of <laughs> 10 kilometers. OK, just remember that the accuracy over distance isn't good, especially when it says one degree of inaccuracy. So I'm going to load myself another black ball. Um, black ball seems to be one of my favorites at the moment. Here it is. OK, so. What I'm going to do is I'm not actually going to be by the ship to fire. I'm going to be by this ship so we can see what happens. So I'm going to aim straight at this first. Just see what happens and see how accurate it is. OK, do you see that? It went literally straight through there, straight through there and out the back. It went through the ship. Yes, it went through the ship. So I'm going to fire at another point. OK, so I fired at another point in the ship and look, we've taken out another point here, as well as that front section again. OK, oh look, we even took the front bit of metal out. Alright, fine, so let's aim at something under the water now, shall we? <gasps> oh my god, look, it hit something under the water instantaneously and went straight into here. Which is quite scary because there was loads of stuff in there. So, let's just run a few, a few shots and just see what it does, how much damage it does, and just see how quick we can actually give ourselves some kind of problem. OK, so you hear the sound of change. That indicates that the laser is firing at a pretty low level, so we're down to 2600. So the amount of damage done is reduced. There we go. So look, we've actually half sunk this thing. We haven't got through into the second chamber. So if I try... Taking out quite a few holes here. Um, that's nicely, uh, nicely damaged. Okay. So yeah, the front of this is starting to go under. Um, so this particular laser, as you know, already know from the AP, is not powerful enough really to do a significant amount of through damage. But obviously we could replace some of the damage components, or even this, if we wanted to, with something that would require more armor piercing. As I say, lasers are pretty good for armor piercing. They're not good at explosives, because obviously they're not explosives. Um, I think that pretty much covers the laser. Uh, what have we got? Done that, 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 done that. Done that, done that, done that, done that, done that, done that. Yeah, OK, we're done. So. If you want yourself a laser similar to this design, um, well, watch this video and build it. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching.